Welcome back, everybody, to our birthday special for Chris Sarandon with another Super Nintendo game. And we're going to play Jeopardy Deluxe Edition. Let's see how it turns out, shall we? Here we go. Playing Jeopardy. Jeopardy. Today we have Jim and Rob facing it's an all guys competition. Here are the categories. One daily double up there somewhere, and we have these categories: patriotic songs, U.S. states, potluck, anagrams, Ireland, and finally furniture. I can deal with these categories, so I'm going to leave them as they are. I'm going to get the easy one out of the way first. Anagrams, 100. The answer is... Answer there. Melon is an anagram of this other fruit. What is a lemon? Okay, anagrams for 200. The answer is... Answer. Carol is one of these, but she doesn't work at Delphi. What is an oracle? Okay, we'll take anagrams for 300. The answer is... A knight should keep his clean. What is his lance? Oops, there we go. For 400 anagrams. The answer is... I'd walk a mile for the juice of this fruit. What's a lime? And anagrams for 500. The answer is... When we see a good production of one of his tragedies, we all make his praise. Who's William Shakespeare? Okay, ran the category, $1,500. Let me look over the remaining categories. I'll take furniture for 100. The answer is... Answer there. So, since ancient times, these furniture supports have been carved to look like animal paws. What are... What are feet? Yep. Yeah. Uh, furniture for 200. The answer is... Answer? An elaborate gentleman's dressing table is named for this 19th century dandy. Um, who was Bo Brummel? That's the only one that's coming to mind. And that's the right one. Uh, for 300, please, furniture. The answer is... Answer. In the 1920s, this furniture style was known as style modern, or art modern. What is... Art... Deco. Uh, furniture, 400. The answer is... Pastry name for a circular table whose rim looks like the crimped edge of a dessert. What is a pie crust table? Oh, crap, cola. And let's close it out. The answer is... Sometimes carved to resemble an urn, it's an ornament at the top of a bedpost. Oh, what is that thing called? Finial, okay. It was not coming to me at all. But, not a big deal, we're just going to move on. We have four categories left, let's go get the next one. U.S. States 100. 
The answer is... I like that category. The Pony Express ran from St. Joseph, Missouri, as far west as this state. What is California? Uh oh. California, yep. US states for 200. The answer is. Answer Mount Adams and Mount Eisenhower are located in the White Mountains of this northeastern state. What is New Hampshire? Yes! Okay. Uh, we'll be right back, folks. I gotta go take care of something. I'll be right back. Okay, everybody, we're back. I'm gonna continue with U.S. states for 300. The answer is... Okay. This state, not Mississippi or Connecticut, has the longest one-word name. What is Massachusetts? Uh, U.S. states 400. The answer is... Burlington, the largest city in this state, has fewer than 50,000 people. What is Vermont? Got it. Uh, U.S. states 500. The answer is... This mountain state has the highest average altitude of any state east of the Mississippi. What is West Virginia? Awesome. Okay, let me have Ireland for 100. The answer is... Answer? We don't mean to bog you down with facts, but this fuel still covers over 10% of the island. What is, uh, I'll just say what is coal, but I really don't know. No, that is wrong. How about it, Rob? Pete. Oh, okay. That makes sense. Yeah. All right. Keep it going. Potluck 100. All right. The answer is... Answer? Edwin Armstrong invented this, now the most popular radio band in the U.S. Uh, what is frequency modulation? Okay. Come on, baby. Uh, let's have a uh, potluck for 200. The answer is... This royal child was born at 18 minutes past 8 p.m. on the 8th day of the 8th month of 1988. Who is Princess Fergie? No. Princess Beatrice of York. It was a princess, but I picked the wrong one. But we're not going to worry about that. We're going to move on. Ireland, 200. Answer? In the 9th century, these invaders founded the cities of Cork, Limerick, and Waterford. Um, who were the Vikings? Good. Ireland, 300. The answer is... The orange in the flag represents the Protestants of this northern, northern province. What is Ulster? Either Ulster or Munster. I'll try what is Ulster. I picked the right one. Ireland, 400. 
Spears. Rebuilt in the 1840s by Guinness, this national cathedral was originally a Danish church. What is uh, St. Patrick's Cathedral? Uh, Ireland, 500. The answer is... The Nationalist Party in Ireland, its name is Irish for We Ourselves. Don't know. Well, neither does Rob, apparently. What? Oh, well, Jim doesn't know either. Waha. It's Sinn Féin. Sinn Féin, Sinn Féin, however you say it. I don't know. Uh, potluck for 300. The answer is... Answer. This English suffix that follows sud, shrews, and glasson means castle. Uh, what is X, EX, or no, 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 no. Oh, too late, too late, too late. I knew it was something else, but too late. It's okay, shake it off, shake it off. Oh, well, Rob's gonna go deeper in the hole. Too bad. Oh, well, Jim's going to join Rob in the hole, too. Everybody missed out on that one. Is it Folk, F-O-L-K? No, Bury, B-U-R-Y. Nah. Potluck 400. The answer is... Answer. The Bible says it contained Aaron's rod and a pot of manna, as well as the Ten Commandments. It was the Ark of the Covenant. I was thinking that, but I didn't want to buzz in on something that was just a complete guess. Anyway, let's move on. Potluck 500. The answer is... And sir? This 44-karat blue diamond was presented to the Smithsonian in 1958 by Harry Winston. What is the Hope Diamond? All right, we have one category left, and that is patriotic songs. Let's the start with 100. Is. Song that begins, Father and I went down to camp, along with Captain Good. What's Yankee Doodle? Uh, 200. The answer is... Him that begins from the halls of Montezuma to the Montezuma to the shores of Tripoli. What is the marine hymn? There we go. Got it. Uh, for 300. The answer is... K.L. Bates wrote, Oh, beautiful for spacious skies, after a visit to this Colorado peak. What is Pike's Peak? Uh, for 400. At the Daily Double, let's bet it all. In the George Henry Cohen song, it's The Emblem of the Land I Love. What is the grand old flag?
Last clue. The answer is... Irving Berlin's song about soldiers going to Europe during World War One. Oh, I got beat to the buzzer. Over there. Oh, okay, never mind. So Rob is four hundred dollars. I have eleven thousand dollars. Jim minus three hundred. So he's going first in double jeopardy, and we're gonna play that round right about now. Here are the categories. For the double jeopardy round, the categories are people. First ladies, art, clothing, actors in roles, and finally, double D. Notice the quotation marks. Okay, let's get going. Where do you want to start? Actors in roles, 200. The answer is... Answer... This may sound fishy, but he won an Oscar for A Fish Called Wanda. Uh, who is Kevin Klein? It's either him or John Cleese. I'll just pick Kevin Klein. Pick the right one. Okay, after the rolls for 400. The answer is... In The Bride of Frankenstein, Elsa Lanchester played both The Bride and this author. Who's Mary Shelley? Uh, for 600. The answer is... Or I guess 800. In a 1936 miniseries, Mackenzie Phillips and Jane Alexander both played this first lady. Eleanor Roosevelt. Yep. Correct. Jim has some money now. Gonna go to clothing for 200. The answer is... Answer. Some dictionaries say the name of this short coat came from the French for Jacob. What's a jacket? I like clothing for 400. The answer is... From the old English bra or leg coverings, you might be too big for yours. What are britches? Uh, clothing for 600. The answer is... Simeon slang for a tuxedo. What's a monkey suit? Uh, we'll go clothing for 800, please. The answer is... Himalayan goat whose fine downy wool has turned into luxurious sweaters. What is a cashmere? The cashmere goat, I should say. Very good. A thousand, please. The answer is... It's an extension of the collar folded over against the breast. What is a lapel? Oh, no! Oh, man! That's what I was trying to put, but it wouldn't let me. Yeah, lapel. I was trying to put that, but the game wouldn't let me. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. Forget about it. Actors roll 600. The answer is... In 1980, Jane Seymour played Mozart's wife on Broadway in this play. What is Amadeus? Okay. Actors rolls 1,000. The answer is... 
When John Gielgud played Hamlet in 1936, this Birth of a Nation star says Ophelia. Who is, um, Lillian Gish? Awesome. $14,200. Art for 200 The answer is... As seen in her, Amer in her style, American artist Mary Cassatt studied with impressionists in this city. What is Paris? Art 400. The answer is... Around 1535, Michelangelo began The Last Judgment, a fresco on the wall of this room. What is the Sistine Chapel? Art for 600. The answer is... American folk artists whose first paintings were copies of Courier and Ives Prints. Grandma Moses. Oh, okay. The answer is... It's the art of carving whalebone. Well, Rob doesn't know. Scrimshaw. Oh, okay. <laughs> All right, double D for 200. The answer is... Let's try. A command to Dobin to, Dobin to speed up. What is giddy up? Double D, 400. The answer is... Noon. What is midday? Double D for six. The answer is... One who follows the latest diets, clothing, styles, etc. What is a fattest? Uh, for Anna, please. The answer is... King Abdul Aziz International, one of the world's largest airports, serves this city. What is Jeddah? All right, let's close it up. The answer is... In the song, My Heart Belongs to This Person... Who is Daddy? Seventeen eight right now. Uh, a thousand, please. Art. The answer is noted surrealist Rene Magritte was from this low country. What is Belgium? Eighteen eight right now. Two categories left. The daily doubles are in those categories. First Lady's 200. The answer is... She was so popular in 1976 that some campaign buttons ran elect <laughs> Betty's husband. Who is Betty Ford? Uh, First Lady's 400. I'll bet it all. Her husband dedicated his book, Six Crises, to her saying, she also ran. Who is uh, Lady Bird Johnson?
It's not? Pat Nixon. Crap. The answer is... Oh, well. An army wife for over 30 years, she considered the Gettysburg House her first real home. Who is Mary Todd Lincoln? Mamie Eisenhower. People 200. That's what it cost me. There's the other day the double. Rob's gonna bet it all. Here's the clip. She was the Grand Marshal of the 50th and 100th Tournament of Roses Parades and it's Shirley Temple Black. People for 400. The answer is... Born in Martinez, California, this Yankee Clipper was a Californian long before he married Marilyn. Who was Joe DiMaggio? Uh, people for 600. The answer is... After leaving Eastern, this former astronaut bought an aerobatic plane he flies for fun. Who is, um, John Glenn? No. Frank Borman. Okay. The answer is... With his rear window actor graduated from Princeton, Josh Logan gave him his first acting job. Who is Jimmy Stewart? Let's close it out. The answer is... Founder of the California Missions beatified in September 1988 despite Indian protests. Oh, well, Jim doesn't know. No. Junipero Sarah. All right. The answer is... Her loyalty to the government was questioned because she was a Southerner. I'm going to try who is Mary Todd Lincoln again. Last clue. The answer is... Eleanor Roosevelt's actual first name. What is Anna? So I have 1,800, Ralph, 2,600, Jim, 900. Well, let's play Final Jeopardy anyway. Birds is the category. All right. The 
Carolina parakeet, now extinct, the only par was the only parakeet native to this country. answer is the US yep I think they'll take my answer we'll find out if I won or not Jim is tied with me right now yep did Rob get the United States or did he not get it he did so I lose oh well see y'all for the next game everybody Thank you.